I'm blushing. Uh, for all the Swedes in the audience, we'd like to apologize to Swedes talking English here, but we do this out of respect for many international guests. Um, to, to pick the quote from Justin Timberlake, b before we go to the promised land, I think we should start with rewinding until 1998, that year. You were 27 years old, uh, you already had three or four years, uh, successful years, but 1998 was a quite dark year. Uh, your friend and mentor, Dennis Pop, died in August that year. And two months later, uh, you released a track with a then completely unknown 16-year-old from the American South. And nothing much happened for the first month, actually. And then in November, it entered the top 100 on Billboard, and it was this track. Uh, you have to excuse me, I will be both the interview and the DJ tonight, so the, the mixes won't be very sharp. Double the pay. <laughs> uh, but, but can you tell us about making this song? Uh, it's funny, because this particular one, um, there's, a, there's a little bit of a funny story, but I think it's funny. But um, I was going to bed, and uh, I was actually falling asleep, and this melody of the, the chorus sort of started you know, coming and just you lay there and, and but I was really tired and uh, I always keep, uh, back then I kept like a dictaphone, you know, with a cassette tape. Some of you might remember that. And, um, and this was even before the mobile phone, which you can record on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, 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 this is, mm. you know. And uh, I was lying there uh, trying to motivate myself to get out of bed and record this thing because I had a feeling it was good. I was like, this is pretty good. But I was really tired. So I was lying there and then I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll get out of bed. And I grabbed the thing and I recorded it and, and, uh, and then I went back to bed and then I came up with like a different variation and, you know, and I, uh, I had to get up again and recorded it and, and and if you listen back, I have it somewhere, but I remember listening back to it after it sort of blew up, because I don't know why, but I, somehow I went through them. And you can hear on the last one, the last sort of take, you can hear, that's when I sort of go, because I'm tired, you know, trying not to wake up my wife. And, and, and then I say, like, hit me, baby, hit me, baby, one more time. And I was like, and then I hear myself say, yeah, it's pretty good. And that was it, and then I went to, you know. So that, and, and I'm really happy, obviously, yeah. that I, because you think that you're gonna wake up the next day and remember it. Yeah. But you never do. So the, the, the vocals are quite special, They're very sort of slow, a bit R&B vocals, mm -hmm. but they actually came from you doing this very sleepy voice. Maybe? Again, yeah. Yes. <laughs> you gotta sound really sleepy <laughs> when you do this. No, but um, the thing is that with that song, I actually, in my head, I thought it was mm -hmm. I was making R&B music. Yeah, yeah. I loved you know TLC and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I, in my world, that was the super yeah. like, urban song. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I I think we even sent it to them and a, a bunch of other people who who I thought would write for it, and then and ended up being mm -hmm. what it was. The intro of the song is fantastic. You recognize the song after two seconds with that dan right. dan that yeah. keyboard thing. Yeah. How did how did it sound? I won't repeat it, I won't repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, but, but I know you and uh, Dennis Pop talked about this, that the song should be, yeah. you should be able to recognize after one or two seconds. Right. No, we had this uh, philosophy of, because he came from the DJ world to, you know, and to keep people on the floor when you change the song, you had to, it couldn't be like, you know, What's this? It had to be something. He liked playing songs where they knew exactly what it was, just from the very start, you know. So that came from that. So it needed to be mm. some kind of ID yeah. thing in the beginning. So people on the dance floor doesn't have to hesitate. I know this song. Exactly. That, so yeah. they stay. Yeah, you know? yeah. That was the whole thing. Yeah. Keep them on the yeah. floor. Yeah. Uh, just one fact about this song. I mean, the word hit record is a bit overused, but. 
This record, Baby One More Time by the great Britney Spears, was actually number one in every single country on the planet it was released, which is quite incredible. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that.